What's good, people? This is about that time to Randall Let Me Late Reverse Ranch No Hate. So, let me do a video right now <clears throat> to just give my thoughts on this possible matchup between Tyson Fury and Zelly Zhang. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Simple. Joe Joyce. Okay. He's managed by Frank Warren, just like Tyson Fury. Any time that his name is brought up, Frank Warren doesn't spend any waste any time. Think about it. Talking about Joe Joyce versus Tyson Fury because he knows that's not a fight that they want. There's no real value in Joe Joyce's name like it would be if Fury was to fight like a Anthony Joshua or, or an Usyk, even though he's trying to downplay Usyk. But there would be, don't get me wrong, there'd be value in that fight with him and Joyce. But I mean, what I'm saying is Joe Joyce still is at that point of he needs the right dance partner. You know, he's not like some global phenomenon. You know, Fury isn't either, but he's more popular than Joyce is. Okay. Well, if he didn't want to fight Joyce, and Joyce just got beat up by Zali, Zali Zhang, Zhang, whatever, Zili Zhang, okay, do you think that he really wants to fight him? And we're talking high risk, low reward. And this is exactly what I would see happen if they tried to negotiate with him. Why do you think Zhang wants to have this fight in China? Massive amount of money, big, big, big crowd. Right? So, what do you think is going to happen? If Tyson Fury didn't want to pay Anthony Joshua but 60-40, right? And as I said before, and the guy that beats Anthony Joshua not once but twice, he was going to pay him 70-30. Okay? Well, what do you think he's going to offer Zhang? What do you think the negotiation would be? He might try to go 80-20 with him. Nobody knows him. He's a fire guy and all this and expect the fight to happen in the UK. So he overpriced himself just so the fight doesn't happen. Okay. Tyson Fury is not about legacy. He's about money. He's about being a superstar. His ego is, is, is like bigger than his body. Okay. So that's not a fight you're going to see. That's not a fight you're going to see. And for that reason alone, for him overpricing himself purposely for the fight to not happen, nothing else has to even be said. You, will know, you won't see that fight. I'm pretty sure Zhang really wants to fight. That's why he made the call out. But again, you know, you see how the PBC tries to keep all their fights in-house? Okay. Why do you think Frank Warren, it is no 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 talk about him putting it, um, Tyson in there with, with, um, with Joe Joyce? He's a cushion, okay? It's like Tyson Fury is Ric Flair. Okay, uh, Joe Joyce is Arn Anderson and Dubois is Tully Blanchard. What was the horseman's job? Okay, yeah, Tully and Arn went out and won their little tag, tag titles and did different things, right? But what was equally as important to protect Flair to make sure he keeps that belt? And not to mention, Fury has brought, you know, Parker along and they're not going to fight because all of a sudden they have a brotherhood. So he's not going to fight Jelly's arm. He doesn't want that kind of, he doesn't want that. He doesn't want that. What Tyson Fury's trying to do, if he gets in the ring, he wants to get in there with someone that he can sponge as much money out of as possible. And he really just wants to take easy fights and get paid big money. So for Zhang, I wouldn't waste my time chasing Fury. Okay. He'd have an easier time going against Usyk. In terms of, I mean, making that fight happen, happen because I don't see Usyk as a runner. But at the same time, Usyk has mandatories for his IBF and for his WBO, right? So he just beat Joe Joyce, you know, Zhang. So maybe that fight, maybe we'll get that fight. Who knows? But at the end of the day, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't expect to see Tyson Fury versus Zilly Zhang. I, I just don't. I, I, I. Don't know what Fury has planned 
You know, maybe he wanted to do a fourth time with Wilder. Uh, maybe he wants a fourth fight with Chisora. Who knows? Maybe he still have the cards on the table for Manuel Char. I don't know what Fury wants to do. But he clearly doesn't want AJ. He clearly does not want to fight Usyk. And he clearly doesn't want to fight Joe Joyce. Now, after watching what happened with Joyce, maybe he might feel a little more comfortable. But he definitely doesn't want to fight Zane. And if he did fight Joyce now, wouldn't that look, make him look like a complete sucker? Like, why did you choose Joyce instead of Zane when Zane just tattooed him up? Beat him up. Bruised him up. Busted him up. Why would you not fight him? So, I don't see him going either route with that. Maybe he'll wind up fighting Ortiz, who lost to Andy Ruiz. You know, who knows? Now, if, like I said a couple of videos ago, that there's been a rumor... You know, actually, um, Bob Aaron was the one who said it. When, you know, um, not so much of a rumor. He said it. That, you know, the WBC is gearing up for Andy Ruiz versus Tyson Fury in the summer. But, again, if you look at them and you understand, like, we always talk about how styles make fights. This is an easy fight for Tyson Fury. That's the route he'd rather go. And if, if people was to ask the question, well... After seeing what happened with Zhang, you could have controlled that and said, hey, I want to fight Zhang instead. You know what he's going to say? Uh, you know, Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua. He has more exposure. He's more known than Zhang. Zhang's a foreigner. Nobody knows him. And of course, he's not going to, you know, uh, say the part about Joshua completely shut him out in the rematch. You know, no, he's not going to say that. But of course, he's going to try to, he, anybody he fights, he's going to make an excuse for and try to make it seem like they are much better than whoever the public is saying they want to see him fight against. So again, with all that, come on, Joyce. If I can't get the ugly little man, how about me and you? Come on, right? And what did I tell you guys? Don't believe that nonsense. It's all hype. It's talk. You guys are sitting there raising the roof, barking, pumping your fists, and I told you, you're doing all that for nothing because he's not going to fight Joe Joyce. And he's not going to fight Usyk. And remember I said, it never is a good feeling or a good sign when a fighter says, if I can't get. What do you mean? Oh. If this guy doesn't, you know, fold and bend to my ridiculous terms, then that fight's not going to happen. Then, if you're available and you make some noise about it, well, then I'm going to give you an even lower, low wall offer. Again, and, and Usyk beat Joyce. So if you're going to pay him, if you were offering 70 30, again, what will he offer uh, um, Joyce, who's lost to Usyk? So you can't sit here and say, oh, well, AJ just came off two losses to Usyk. So 60 40. But then all of a sudden, and yeah, it was a long time ago, but it doesn't matter. He still beat him. Still beat him. So again, what do you think he would offer um, Joe Joyce? The only thing he can't call Joe Joyce is a foreigner. Because, of course, that fight, everything with him is he's always calling somebody a foreigner. Which means when he says that, whatever fight that he's supposed to be in, he's expecting it to be in the UK, as I said. But he's always, you know, so what is he going to say about uh, um, Zilli Zhang? Oh, he's done nothing. All he did was beat Joyce. I beat Joyce myself. And that's part of what he does. Tell you who he can beat. He's the greatest fighter I've ever lived. And he's better than everybody. And yeah, right. Fighting Derek Chisora proves it. Calling out, you know, wanting to even entertain fighting Manuel Char proves it. Not wanting to fight Anthony Joshua. Only if he's in a broken state and, and accepts bullshit terms. The same with Usyk. You know, never giving, you know, Vladimir Klitschko his rematch. And it's funny because I was thinking, you know, not, not just now, a long time. But just thinking the other day, the same thing. <clears throat> a guy like Ali could say, I fought Sonny Liston. I fought Joe Frazier, Kid Norton, George Foreman. You know, I, 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 I mean, he got near with Henry Cooper. People don't understand. Ali was a youngin. Henry Cooper was a seasoned veteran, man. You know, a skilled guy. He got near with him. He got near with Shavers. You know, uh, 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 um, you know, he, he, he got near with, with Ron Lyle. Got near with 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 uh, uh, I mean, so many, so many solid fighters. You know, Holyfield could sit here and say, I got near with Bo. I got near with Lewis. I got near with Morrow. I got near with Foreman. I got near with Tyson. You know, I got near with, 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 with Tony. 
I got in it with, with, with Chris Bird. You know, Tyson Fury, with all the claims and the way his, his fanboys see him, well, think about this. His biggest win, in my opinion, is Klitschko, not Wilder. Okay, but look at his resume. The best fighters on his resume is Klitschko, Wilder, Cunningham. And if you want to say Chisora, who's never really done nothing but give a good fight and lose. But that's that's his claim to fame. And, and now you can put Dylan White on there. But that's my point. When you look at these guys, you don't look at the these, these guys are not like world class killers. With the exception of Klitschko being a complete solid fighter, <clears throat> especially, at, you know, once he got with Emmanuel Stewart, definitely, you know, really got became a much better fighter. But he never gave him his rematch. You know, but regardless, and was dropped by much smaller guys. So, yeah, even him being six foot nine, people forget this. He was dropped by Cunningham, who was a freaking cruiserweight and was a small heavyweight. I forget the other guy that dropped him as well. But so, you know, he's shown, OK, he gets dropped and he gets back up. So nobody's questioning his toughness and, in fact, his willingness to keep going. But just saying, we talk about legacy. This man does not have a great legacy. He does not have a Hall of Fame career by no stretch. And if you look at it, he doesn't care about that. He's focused on. So, no, too much of a risk for him to fight, Zilly saying, and that's how he's going to see it. It's not what he's going to say, but basically, there's no value in that to him. So, you won't see that fight happen. I'd actually be shocked if, that, if, 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 if he actually accepted that. Do I believe he's going to accept it? Fuck no. I'm not looking forward to it. Anyway, if it was to happen, yeah. But I'm not, I don't expect that to happen. So I'm not looking like, oh, yeah, it's a possible. No, that fight's not happening. Talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think. Does Tyson Fury want to fight Zane? Do you think that that fight will actually happen? Never fall in love with lies. Remember, the truth brings hate out of people. And I will catch y'all on the next video.